What's up, Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Guys, today I'll show one of the most exciting and the most search content in YouTube that is called Nuke Matte Painting. Yes, guys, this is a really, really long waited tutorial and the long requested tutorial from my subscribers, my friends, my followers. So, this is it, guys, and today I'll show that cool matte painting in a easiest way. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So guys, welcome to my channel and this is the really long waited tutorial. So many guys are requesting me. It's a, please make a tutorial on matte painting. Okay, so first of all, you have to know what is matte painting is. So guys, matte painting is kind of a like image creation process which you can create in photoshop and nuke as well but i preferred photoshop because that is more user friendly okay so this is our basic matte painting which i have created and i'm just turning off and on these layers for visible purpose better viewing so this is a layer 7 it's called like a background default you can use it or not use it then i'm just turning on these layers one by one so that you can understand that what exactly it is okay so this is our basic matte painting now the basic idea is that we have to give some depth of these layers in between these layers so that you can easily judge that this characters and this bg's depth is what exactly it is the plus point is you can give your own depth your customized depth for this kind of thing okay so let's jump to nuke so this is nuke 11.2 version i really love this version because over there you can see lots of things uh, they have added so many plugins inside this okay so first of all this is a basic matte painting psd file you can see it's like matte painting.psd the photoshop file so you just drag and drop or you can import it from here okay so now what you have to do you have to break out all your photoshop layers so just scroll down see you have can see the breakout layers option is there just press breakout layer so now we have we can see these layers already break it out so just press space here to make it bigger and now you can see these are the same layers which you can see in photoshop so now just you can connect this by pressing one and you can see this all are connected see okay so let's see what exactly it is when you connect it like one see this is our first photo one this is a second one so this is all are the different different layers and different different photos so we don't need this uh, merge nodes and this crop nodes so just select all this and press delete so now what happened we have only the shuffle layers are there so now press when you connect this you can see only these photos are right now but see this is the thing you have to fix this this is because of you didn't use the pre multiply here okay so first of all what you have to do you have to take a pre mult press pressing tab on your keyboard drag a pre mult and connect it like this so now you can see you you can get your own png file which is exactly visible like in photoshop okay now what you have to do i can take a crop node uh, the reason behind of this crop node it will it can uh, adjust a proper resolution of this footage okay guys i forget to set that uh, basic uh, setting so press s on your keyboard and just change your file size full size format from like uh, 1920 by 1080 this is fine okay so now we have to do the same two things copy and you have to paste every shuffle okay so just say control c take it control v control v it's very simple so just you have to copy and paste it so that you can see exactly what is it's in photoshop okay so just now check it first see all is fine all the layers are exactly same like photoshop okay now it's good to go okay so first of all this is a 3d matte painting so we have to take our 3d basic things which is a camera so press camera then scan line renderer and then obviously a scene but i not take a scene i'll take a camera tracker okay why i'm taking camera tracker i'll tell you okay so when you see this camera tracker double click on it you can see there's an option over there which is called film back preset let's it's custom right now right so it's like film back preset it's 36 by 24 it's fine 
okay but you can choose your own but i'm taking it's like 36 by 24 it's fine so i'm taking this one actually so now go to this camera option and uh, then make it like focal length 35 is good and then make it like 6, 36 by 24 so what exactly happened right now let's close it like this when you change your that options here see like make it 30 see this area is changing which is our main horizontal or vertical aperture okay now it's fine everything is going good now let's delete this no need now press pressing tab let's take a card over there so now double click on your card and you have to change this lens in focal and in horizontal uh, sorry lens in uh, aperture so just double click on your camera see lens is focal length is 35 and horizontal aperture is 36 so what i have to do double click on your camera uh, uh, sorry double click on your card and focal length is like lens in focal which is 35 and horizontal uh, lens in aperture is like 36 okay so this is the basic idea so now when you connect this to this image let's connect all this or cards to this image just make it a little bigger just control c control v okay so now select all these cards and by pressing tab let's take this scene so now what happened all the cards are connected to the scenes and this scene should connect to this scan line renderer right <clears throat> okay so when you go back in 3d you can see all the images are in the same area it's look exactly like photoshop but see all the layers are actually splitted but it's in one place so it's feel very bad right now okay so now what you have to do you have to make or you have to give some depth in these images so now go to this card double click and let's z axis let's move it's this z axis so when you're increasing this in z axis see it's moving on the same aperture options right and let's make it like 500 so now you can see it's already in the background right let's take the second one let's make it like depth is 450 so now you can see these two images have a 50 depth see this is the front one and this is the background one so like this way you have to give all the images a separate separate depth double click on it and let's make it 400 second one third one is like 350 this one is like 300 now i'm taking it's like a randomly like 50 50 50 you can take your own depth uh it's based on completely you uh this one is like 300 so this one should be like 250 you can your custom depth no need to add like 50 only because i did this you can give like 10 12 anything you wish let's make it 150 and the last one is like 100 it's fine okay so now when you see in z-axis all the images have the different different depth so now when you see it in two-dimensional form press tab you can see there is nothing isn't different everything is same like in photoshop so this is our basic target that you have to make all these images in same like it's visual in photoshop there is no changes you have did here everything is exactly same see guys this is completely same now his buffer is done okay so now our matte painting is done now you have to get some 3d animation or you can say like camera animation over there so just decreasing just resolution because it's very heavy right now so just i'm making like one is to two i'm not taking it like one is to four because you guys then can't understand the image quality it will really decrease it's 19 960 by 540 it's good okay so now the frame range is 100 it's pretty good let's take this camera here and i'm just taking the camera option let's translate and rotate a little bit set key and uh, this one is also set key so this is our first position which is really good so let's uh, zoom it in the z-axis so just increase it in z-axis so when you i'm taking like a minus direction so it's feel like the camera is zoom in and zoom it out a little bit so it's fine let's down it little in and it should be go this way yeah 
so now its camera is going down okay, this is fine this angle is really fine now go to the last frame here and make it all zero so that it will come back to its own option okay so when you play this you can just go to the 3d option you can see this camera is actually played see okay so this is our basic animation okay now press tab again now you can play it from your first frame so let's give some buffer time so guys when the buffer will done i'll get back to you it will take some time so guys now you can see uh, this buffer is done and you can see your matte painting is feeling like it's really a 3d scene by using this way you can make so many things so now the one thing is missing which is the main part that is a z depth so if there is no z depth you can't understand like what is exactly it's how many far these backgrounds are from this character so that's why z depth is really important so just go to the first frame let's uh, increasing your resolution and we have to take have some z depth so we will use so now we'll use zd focus so by pressing tab on your keyboard zd focus and connect it to here so now you can see everything is blurred right now okay so you're in the last frame so let's make the focal point to this characters so now you can see these characters it's right now in focus so let's make it a little more precise and uh, maximum numbers like take it 50 or it's like no 5 is or like 10 is good and the size should be like 8 is fine so now you can see the blur is more i am uh, using the 1 is to 2 resolution so that you can't understand the blur but i'm just turning on and off so you can understand see this is a without blur this is with blur see this is a different okay so just animate it and set all knobs here and uh, go to the first frame and now you can see when you went to the first frame the depth will change see right now this is in focus so let's make it little down so right now i this uh, hills are in focus and when you go to the first frame the character will be in focus so this is our basic concern okay so guys in this way you can give some depth and let's make it some color corrections by pressing tab like it like color correct and use it on you i'm just uh, disable this zd focus because it will uh, slow your system so let's increase or decrease your saturation and all and contrast level which you preferred you can use god rays here you can do lens flare whatever you use so when the guys everything will complete it will exactly look like this so guys if you really enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and obviously press that bell icon for the further notifications and guys this map painting link is in description just go and download and then start working and don't forget to hit comments that how you like this video what's your feedbacks and all okay then guys i will see you in my next tutorial till then have fun stay healthy bye bye